Hello everyone, it's Y'all Tooth here again. Got another great video for you. And this video, I'm gonna show you why I can stay back from the trains a little bit. I don't like to get right up on the railroad crossings and right next to the trains, because it's a little bit dangerous. And this was one time when I was a little bit too close to the train. I thought this train was just a local coming through, but it wasn't, and you'll see. Go ahead and start the video, son, it's kinda interesting. Hello everyone, check this out. I'm in downtown Thurman, West Virginia, and we've got a westbound freight train coming right now. And it's gonna be on main track two, and it's gonna be really cool. So, see that little sidewalk right there? That's the main road here. The main road in West Virginia, in Thurman. Check this out behind me, you'll see where it goes. That's Main Street down there, and all those buildings, that's the business district for Thurman. They're being restored by the state. This is owned by the state of West Virginia. And the signal, on the very bottom, on the right, that's a uh, diverging approach signal. So this train's gonna be going from track two to track number one. So let's start the video, son. Here we go, Thurman, West Virginia. Wow, that was really cool. Is that water coming out of the side of that train? There she goes from track two to track one, westbound. That was cool. There you go, folks. Downtown Thurman, West Virginia. Got a real good shot on that train there. I'm not sure what that water was that's coming out of the side of it. I'll have to look back at the video on that. Leave a comment below, what was that? But uh, looked like a local freight coming through. Pretty awesome. And here's the downtown district right here. All these buildings are being restored by the state and they look really nice. Population of the Thurman is five. Amtrak went through just a few minutes ago, it was about uh, about 7.14 p.m. when Amtrak went through. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up, rate, subscribe, and all that stuff. See you later. Okay, there you have it. Did you figure out what kind of train that was? That was a weed sprayer. I didn't even know it until the train had already gone by. And then I was kind of freaked out. I was kind of wondering, wow, was I way too close to those dangerous chemicals? So I should have been back a little bit farther on that one. Normally, I'm not that close. The good thing about this video is that the operator had turned off the weed spray before he got to me. And you can see him turn it back on once it gets past me, about 40 or 50 feet on past me, he turns it back on. So I'm going to show you what I think of when I think of weed spray. Here's one I filmed way back in 2015, 
go ahead and start the video on and let's see what the normal weed sprayer looks like at least that I think of when I think of weed spraying Okay everyone, thanks for watching, and now it's time for a random train shot. Here's one I've never posted before, and then we'll see some dogs. Keep the video going, son. Wow, that was cool. The parking accommodations weren't that great though, but that's still pretty cool. There you go. Awesome. Ah, but wait, there's more. Of course there always is. One more thing before we go here, just wanted to mention, I used three different cameras in this video. Can you tell the difference between the three? Okay, thanks for watching. Watch another video if you have time. Every view really helps my channel, and we'll see you later.